the Three Rivers students, families, teachers, and staff. As we finish our first month of school, I want to share my perspectives on how things are going and talk about what we can expect in the weeks to come. First, to our students. You are amazing. K3 on-site students, I'm continually impressed by how well you wear your masks, work to stay physically distanced, and how quickly you've adapted to these new rules. To the distance learning students, you've proven all the skeptics wrong and how you've, you've embraced the opportunities for learning online to start the school year. I hear so many stories of how students are showing up and putting in the work in spite of not being on campus. Thank you for your flexibility and your commitment to learning. Keep it up. Second, to our teachers and staff. I am daily in awe of how much you do for our students. As we prepare for the ODE requirements for returning to school throughout the summer, there were many looks of uncertainty about how the first semester would go. But I knew you would not let a pandemic stop you from serving your kids. Thank you to the teachers, classified and support staff. Your compassion, your energy, and your joy is the fuel that pushes our kids to keep going. Thank you to our kitchen staff and bus drivers who make sure our families have meals throughout the week. And thank you to our maintenance and custodial staff who work to keep our buildings safe for our teachers, our youngest students, and keep our campuses ready for the day that we get to welcome all of our students back. Finally, to our families. I know there was a lot of anxiety for many of you in the first weeks of the school year, and that anxiety was justified. Between the fires, the smoke, the technology issues and the pandemic, the start of the school year asked a lot of you. But we have made it to the other side and the 2020 school year is starting to find its rhythm. So what can we expect in the coming weeks? Unfortunately, the future looks to be more of the same. The COVID infection rate numbers have been trending in the wrong direction. To return all students back to campus, Josephine County must record eight or fewer infections a week. The past two weeks have produced infection rates in the high teens, so it currently appears that distance learning at home may have to continue for grades four through 12. But trust me on this, I am watching the numbers every day and it continues to be my personal goal to bring all of our students back on campus as soon as possible. But I wanna to finish today by sharing with you a little bit about the amazing work going on inside our distance learning at home classes. While we all believe on-site in-person teaching is the best option for learning, I have been completely blown away by the positive experiences happening in our CDL classrooms. Teachers are finding new and exciting ways to meet our students where they are, literally over the internet. Kids are gaining technology and self-management skills, which will be, are important to becoming college and career ready. I couldn't be more proud of what I'm seeing. How about I let some of our distance learning teachers share a little bit more about the experience. One thing that's really impressed me about students this year is that they a lot of them are showing me how tech savvy they are. I never knew how behind the times I was until all of this and to realize that, you know, even a kid that can, might struggle in math, they are, they can get through Canvas and navigate a million times faster than I can. And um, it's really, it's really cool to see kind of those other outlets where they are blooming and doing really well. So there's a couple things. Their level of perseverance is absolutely surprised me. Um, most of my students, one, try and figure things out. You know, if the directions aren't clear, they persevere in trying to find how to actually do something. And then they're so helpful, too. They want to help each other. So when they figure out how to do something or maybe a better way to do something, they let me know. And they're not afraid to let me know, but they also help each other out too, which is really cool. And I love how um, patient and adaptable they are, because really when we're having technology issues or, or you know, somebody's having a problem getting something to load, uh, the students are just really compassionate and, and try to help. Like they'll put comments in the chat to encourage people, it's gonna be okay, this is what you need to do. So I'm liking, I like seeing that. Probably one of the most uh, impressive things I've seen with the students is their resilience. Um, there's a lot of challenges that obviously we're facing and students are engaged still. They still want to come to class, they want to participate, they're still interacting with each other, um, they're asking questions and the classroom's functioning very similarly to a normal classroom but um, it's obviously online and the students' resilience of just wanting to engage and enroll into the classroom and have fun, learn, 
meet new people and teachers and engage in the year has been extremely impressive. Their resilience in their abilities is so huge. We can have, in the beginning, we might have had a very frustrating first day or second day. They still had the motivation and resilience to get back on the next day and smile and be excited and ready to learn. And now, a couple of weeks in, their resilience and their abilities to be able to use a computer, no questions asked. They're actually teaching me things now. And it's been amazing. Ah, uh, they keep trying. They, they keep at it and our kids keep getting on. They keep asking great questions. And um, we noticed that, that during our office hours, our office hours are busy because our kids want to keep improving and they want to get better at things. And uh, they keep impressing us because they keep coming back every day and they're excited. They, they show that excitement to everyone and throughout this, they've been happy. When we see them, they're happy and they're ready to go. And although they might not understand how to do something, they're willing to persevere through it. And uh, that perseverance is evident every single day during the class. And it's really neat to see. And our kids keep growing and that's awesome. That was just a sample of the many outstanding distance learning teachers we have here in our district. While we all want our students back on campus soon, as you can see, no matter where they learn, they are in great hands. Be strong, be safe, be three.